Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklit Educational Channel. So this is the Unit 1 Part 18 for the complete UGC Net Environmental Science Syllabus and if you haven't checked the previous lessons, you can check the link provided in the description below and in the i button. So today we are going to continue the thermodynamics part. So we should recall the first law of thermodynamics which you have studied in the previous lesson and this lesson will be about the second law of thermodynamics. It will be very short and so we should recall the first law of thermodynamics. So in atmosphere in our environment, this law is actually known as law of conservation of energy. That means energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but rather transformed from one state to another. For example, from the heat energy to chemical energy to food energy that is passing from one tropic level to another, the energy is transformed. It cannot be created nor destroyed. So today we are going to learn a bit step forward that is second law of thermodynamics. It is also known as the law of increase of entropy. So you should note down these things. It is also known as increase of entropy law. And this is the second law of thermodynamics which states that the entropy of a system increases over time. So this is the overall formula or basics behind the second law of thermodynamics. But what is this entropy? Entropy is a measure of the amount of disorder in a system. So degree of randomness is called as entropy of any system. How much disorder the system is having that is known as the entropy of that system. And this law states that the entropy that is disorderness of the system of any system. So system surrounding we have discussed in the previous lessons. So any system the disorderness increases over time as the time increases. So an increase in the entropy that is disorderness arising from the energy transformation reduces the energy available to do work. So what it is telling that as the disorderness increases that is entropy increases from the transformation of energy. Who says that transformation of energy takes place? First law of thermodynamics told that energy is transformed. So as a result it reduces the energy available to do work. So here it is telling that as the entropy increases, as the degree of randomness increases, so that results in the reduction in the energy available to do the work. So this is the thing which we will know more easily in the next slide. So here it is telling that energy transfers and the law of thermodynamics which is under the second law of thermodynamics. This states that the second law of thermodynamics, the inefficiency and decrease in available energy along a food chain and energy generation system due to mostly due to the heat loss. So what it is telling first law says that it is transforming from one form to another and this is telling that energy is decreasing because the energy is released in the form of heat when it is passing. So for example solar energy the chloroplast is present in the plant so the plants are making the food that is the chemical energy with the help of but in this process they are releasing the heat so as a result the energy is decreased which is received from the sun you can say that 10% law so when the energy is passing from one tropic level to another it is decreasing because of the heat loss. So now with the help of ecological pyramid we can easily know this energy transfer and losses so let's move to the next slide to know more easily. So here this ecological pyramid actually depicts and demonstrates the entropy and the second law of thermodynamics very easily that in each tropic level the energy is lost as heat and therefore energy decreases at each level that is the basic of the second thermodynamics law which is telling energy decreases at each level how because from the producers to the consumers to the higher consumers to the top carnivores the heat is released and that is resulting in the decrease of energy. So from one level to another basically it is telling that energy is decreased. So now we will know the scientific laws are mostly energy are governed by these two law first and second law of thermodynamics. First law states that energy input always equals to the energy output. So these questions are also asked. The statement will be given which thermodynamic law states that energy input is always equals to energy output. So you should select that it is by the first law of thermodynamics. And in second law of thermodynamics it states that energy always goes from a more useful to a less useful form when it changes from one form to another. That means 
it is telling about the efficiency so the energy efficiency decreases as it moves from one tropic level to another or as it changes from one form to the another that is from more useful to a less useful form so these are the basic thing and now we will conclude with the conclusion of the thermodynamics law according to our environment ecology and pyramid so here the conclusion is having we are having four points so we'll know one by one sun is the ultimate energy source of ecosystem excluding the chemoautotrophs that are using the chemicals for the synthesis of the food that are chemoautotrophs so except them sun is the ultimate energy source of ecosystem and the energy transformed from sun to decomposers is seen in every kind of ecosystem it is transformed from sun to the final decomposers in any ecosystem next point is in each tropic level maximum energy is released as heat so heat is the point or heat is the phenomena in which the maximum energy is released in every tropic level and finally ecosystem obeys both the first and the second law of thermodynamics so for the ugc net environmental science paper whatever was necessary i have discussed in these last three videos so you should go through all of them and some of them are very important you should note down all these points so i hope you have learned something new from here if you want more such videos don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon to get all further updates so you can also join our instagram and telegram page for the regular quizzes and more important notes which will be provided which will be very helpful for the examination so see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself